So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. TWP questions are typically four or more lines long. And what we want to do is read one sentence at a time, make sure we understand that sentence before moving on, and make sure to write down any quantitative information as well from that sentence. So the first sentence here says an event planner is planning a party, right? So nothing to write down from that. It costs the event planner a one-time fee of $35 to rent the venue and $10.25 per attendee. Okay, so now we can translate that. It costs, so I'm going to put a capital C for cost. Uh, we're told that there's a one-time fee of $35, so I'm going to put 35 And, right, so plus $10.25 per attendee. So I'll just say A for attendee, right? So 1025 times the number of attendees will be 1025 times A. The next sentence, the event planner has a budget of $200. What is the greatest number of attendees possible without exceeding the budget? Okay, well, if the budget is $200, that means she can spend, or the event planner can spend no more than $200, which means C has to be less than or equal to $200, which means 35, because C is equal to 35 plus 10.25A, that means 35 plus 2.5, I'm sorry, 35 plus 10.25A, must be less than or equal to 200. Hopefully that makes sense. Now from here I can subtract 35 from both sides. So it's gone there. So I'm at 10.25a is less than or equal to 165. And I'm going to divide both sides by, let me appear for some more space. Uh, so 10.25a less than or equal to 165. Divide both sides by 10.25. So here I'd have a is less than or equal to. And then let's go to my calculator. You'll have an integrated calculator for the digital version of this test. And 165 divided by 10.25 is 16.0. 9, 8, basically. The question says, what is the greatest number of attendees? Well, the greatest number would be 16, right? It has to be less than or equal to this whole value. So the greatest possible number of attendees you could have would be 16 attendees. And you can always check your math as well and just say, well, what is 16 times 10.25? That's 164 plus the $35 that you're going to pay. That's 199 and yeah. Right, you couldn't add another attendee if your budget is $200. So our answer here is 16.